Okay, so what I want to do today is to uh, quickly run through how you can provide a, an extended environment for your uh, favourite gerbils um, by taking uh, two or more cages and joining them together using standard plumbing fittings uh, with the addition of uh, a DIY or, or a homemade uh, little metal bracket um, to hold it all in place. Um, this is all relatively, uh, should be uh, quite simple to do uh, so long as you've got a, a pair of tin snips or some very strong uh, scissors and uh, and some metal um, sheet uh, that you need uh, in order to make these uh, little brackets which are the uh, which are the key to it all at the end of the day really uh, so we'll quickly move on and uh, we'll take um, two cages and we want to join these together um, possibly join them to a third cage and uh, the key to this is this uh, metal bracket which uh, although I've said one millimeter um, steel or aluminium here uh, I used I think a 0.7 millimeter sheet steel uh, you could get away with um, 0.5 millimeter I would imagine but uh, this plate is uh, the same size for uh, both access options um, this is 90 millimeters by 110 millimeters roughly and you cut some uh, tags out uh, of this I've made mine roughly uh, 15 by 20 millimeters uh, and a circular hole in the plate that you want to have 90 degree access into the uh, cage on and uh, if you're coming in at an angle then you need a, an oval uh, hole here uh, be, be sure to make the, uh, the diameter uh, uh, big enough uh, for your tube plus uh, the thickness of the bars because what you do is you use the tags to um, uh, place and hold uh, the uh, the plates uh, on your cage where you want uh, to have access uh, and once you've um, uh, worked out that this is uh, the right place then then and only then do you cut them because when you've cut them uh, you then bend them back and uh, in bending them back uh, you're uh, permanently fixing the uh, the period in 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 place. Uh, you're also preventing the uh, gerbils from escaping when you uh, do put the tube bits in, and uh, you uh, you you should have made the hole big enough so that your tube goes through plus the thickness of uh, of the bars that are are coming through the uh, coming through this hole. But these then. Uh, clip onto or um, uh, if you've uh, dimensioned it properly will will um, catch on the tube and help uh, hold it in place so there's uh, no additional fixing required um, this, this is really is all you need so uh, we take uh, a couple of cages uh, we'll put two oval shaped uh, tubes that we've made into them and um, into that we can then start uh, slotting uh, the tube to build up our configuration now uh, I've taken 40 millimeter PVC waste pipe uh, that I got from Wix Building Supplies and uh, used all the fittings that you can get for that uh, in order to create the runs in uh, my arrangement and uh, I've cut some slots on the uh, on the sloping sections in order to provide the gerbils with some grip but uh, also you could extend that to any straight length in order to provide ventilation for uh, for your little friends um, so we've got these uh, now in place and uh, we just build a configuration up using uh, bends and straights uh, to ultimately get to where we uh, we want to get which uh, in this instance is uh, a third cage uh, in uh, to one off to one side now uh, this is what you could do, you could add uh, three, four or more cages, as many as you want, but obviously the more metal you take out of the cage, uh, the weaker you will make it. So uh, uh, I would advise caution as to just uh, how many cages and how extensive you, uh, you uh, a configuration you create. Um, I uh, just did this, it took me I suppose about an afternoon to make it. Um, and uh, the benefits to the gerbils were immense, uh, in that we keep uh, one is sleeping quarters and uh, when we're cleaning the uh, cages we uh, simply extract the tube and uh, leave them in one uh, clean the other tube uh, the, the other cage out and then uh, swap them back over so uh, I hope you find that instructive uh, and that you enjoy extending the uh, the environment for your favorite gerbils <laughs>